Good afternoon. It's a rainy afternoon here at the uh, Deep Bunker, and uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of a supplement to the last uh, alt.snake oil video because it's come to my attention that some people just aren't uh, aren't believing in uh, cheese power. So uh, what what I've done, uh, or, and they're saying that the input power isn't being measured uh, properly. So I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more demonstration here. So here's the thing. It's got the light bulb and the terminals for the cheese and the two wires coming to the plug. And what I'm going to do is use the clamp on meter with two loops through to, <clears throat> to monitor the current as before, before, but then I'm also going to use the fluke to monitor the current in the other wire. And uh, uh, we'll start with a fresh piece of cheese just to prove that uh, there's no hidden batteries in the cheese. All right? Okay, so I'm going to go to the. Uh, oh, and of course you know that I wouldn't. I would would never screw with my. Uh, my good old venerable Fluke 83 multimeter. That thing is reliable, so uh, we'll be using it to make a couple of measurements. So now I'm going to put the camera on the tripod. Hang on a second. Okay, so there's the camera on the tripod. Am I zoomed out far enough to, so you can see everything? Maybe so. Okay. So, uh, now what we have to do is to get a get a piece of cheese. Right? So well, let's see. We're in the United States, so um, what we need is a piece of cheese that's going to be resonating at some frequency close to 60 hertz. So how about 1.20 uh, inches cheese? Well, you, you know, this is like, this is, <laughs> you think this is easy? You try it. Perfect. See, after a while, you get good at this. So now we've got the cheese cut, and it is really cheese. It's like that's um, no cheese, and no batteries in there, people. Mmm, that is really good cheese. That stuff is like twenty dollars a pound. All right, so let's put this in here and make the termination. Sometimes you have to look around for the sweet spot, but. Like I said, I've gotten pretty good at this, so... Okay. So now we got the cheese in there. Alright. Alright, so... Now let's do some continuity checking. We've got the fluke meter here, and it's in... Beep beep mode for continuity checking. All right. So I'm going to take uh, the plug and clip one of the wires to the plug. Okay. And we'll go over here and we'll see where it comes out. Not that one. That one. Not that one. That one. Is that showing up on the camera? Okay, so now I'm going to take and clip the black lead to the other plug right there. No, not that one. But yes, that one. Not that one. Yes, that one. So we have two wire continuity, no shorts or anything between the plug and the switch. All right. 
So, like I said, I'm going to take the clamp meter and put it through twice. <coughs> Excuse me. But Jesus, strong stuff. Put it through twice on. Oh, sorry, we're all tangled up here. There. We'll put that meter through twice so that it has an amplified reading on its display. Is the display visible? Can you see that? Yeah, that's showing up. Okay. All right, and uh, let's take a screwdriver. Hook the other wire. Like that. And we'll take the fluke meter and put it into the DC DC milliamps mode. And we'll hook the that or rather AC, we want AC, right? Yeah, because the cheese is definitely AC. And then we take the, that and put it right in the circuit like that. So now we've got the two ammeters hooked up, one monitoring one wire with two loops through, and then the fluke actually hardwired in uh, on the other wire. All right. So now let's plug it into the mains. And let's see what happens. Mains power. A good solid indication on both the ammeters. 32 milliamps directly in. And this one is looped through twice, so it's showing, well, 5 or 50 milliamps, but that's not very accurate, of course. Anyhow, the point is we've got a good indication on that meter and on this one, too. So now, let's see what the cheese does. Oh, I think I can actually also get a frequency reading here if I push the Hertz button. Why isn't it telling me some hertz here? Well, that's embarrassing. Anyhow, we do have 32 milliamps of AC current going through there. And on the other side, cheese power. We have a nice bright light. Same brilliance. Maybe even a little bit brighter this time, right? And uh, no current on either meter. Okay, let's do that again. All this is <laughs> probably live, so I have to be very careful not to shock myself. All right. So there you go. Current on both meters. power, no current anywhere. Alright, thank you for watching. Oh, I know, the frequency, yeah. So the frequency was strange, probably because I wasn't measuring voltage. If I measured the voltage, Let's see here. Let me change some settings around. Let's unplug that so that it's not dangerous. Definitely. 
hook this back up, this wire here, and then measure AC voltage, and just put the connections right across there like that, and then plug it in. So there's our 120 volts of AC voltage. Lights on. And there's our frequency reading. So it only measures the voltage from frequency, not or the frequency from a voltage reading, not from a current reading. All right, there you go. Oh. This isn't going to tell you much, is it? Thank you for watching.